In this tutorial, uh, I'm going to cover how to create this animation. This will be our third animation for exercise two. And this time the text was animated, um, not using presets, but actually uh, animating with the text editor over here, okay, under our layer. So let's uh, let's stop that and let's do it. Let's create it from the fresh so you can see how I created this. So I'm going to go to new project. And we're going to do use new composition. And we're going to choose our preset is going to be social media landscape. And uh, 30 frames per second. And duration is 5 seconds. And our background color, we're going to uh, keep it as white. Okay. So the thing that's a little different with this one is we're going to actually create a new layer. But it's not going to be a text layer. It's going to be a new solid layer. Okay. So we're going to go to layer, new, solid. And um, we want to make it comp size, okay? Because we can make this any size we want, but we want it to fill up the comp area, okay? And now let's go to color, and we want to choose black. It was already chosen black, but I just wanted to show you how to do that. So anyway, let's continue on here. So this actually creates a rectangle, more or less, for this entire layer. Now we're going to go and do a new text layer. And for this, we're going to use Gil Sands, okay, uh, because that's that's pretty close to what it actually looks like. Uh, I think they might have used Gil Sands uh, Light. I I was actually took took a look at how it opens up here. Let's continue on. Let's just type in here, and and I'm going to change our paragraph by the way, so it's uh, justified to the left. And let's type in a long time ago and we're going to need to move this let's move it on over okay so we'll move this over here and let's go get our text tool and continue on click there a long time ago in a galaxy far and then we'll do a comma and do far away because that's kind of how it actually looks in the actual film there so um let's just move this here okay so you should get something that looks kind of like this uh for the size for my text as you can see is 130 um and like i said i'm using gil sans regular so now let's let's uh, animate this and we're going to go up under the layer. We're going to uh, click on this little arrow here so we can look at our options here. We're going to go to this little button right here. Now, we used this button before to change the color. But we're going to go to Animate. And we're going to use Opacity. Okay. And let's go and play around with things here. Uh, the opacity right now is set for 100. We're going to lower this to zero for the moment. Okay. And then let's go to our range selector. And what we're going to be using is uh, the start. Okay. And we're going to click the stopwatch. And it should be set for zero. And then we're going to drag our timeline indicator over maybe to tw uh, 2 minutes and 20 frames. Something in that area. And we're just going to scrub this up where it go back to where it says start and we'll go to zero percentage. And we're going to scrub this so it goes up to 100. And so now we're going to move the timeline indicator to the beginning so you can see how this plays. This is essentially what we did. Okay. We could do all kinds of things, by the way. And, for, and just bear with me for a second. Uh, I'm actually going to go and animate and we could change... Let's say we're going to change our position if we, if we wanted to, okay? And so I'm going to click the stopwatch. Oops, excuse me. I'm trying to get it clicked. My uh, mouse is having a little difficulty. I'll scrub ahead 10 frames here. And then let's go to the second uh, per number here, okay, in, in position. And we're going to scrub this up. So we go, let's scrub it the other way. There we go. Th this is the way we want to scrub it. 
All right. I know it looks a little peculiar right now, but let's get all the way up there and out. Okay. And let's drag our timeline indicator to the beginning, and let's see what this has done. So now it drops in the text like this, okay? And it's, that's how we would do that kind of drop in. And depending upon, you know, I, I don't know if, if this will change the speed. Let's see how this does. Uh, it drops in about the same speed, okay? I was just seeing if that would, would affect it any, okay? So anyway, that, that's playing around with position. I'm going to click on the position and hit delete. And we're going to try another one here because we've got opacity set up already. But let's go and animate with, uh, let's say we've got skew. Let's try rotation, okay? And we'll hit the stopwatch. We'll move over 10 frames. And then we're going to rotate this 180 degrees. And we're going to see what this one looks like. Like I said, a lot of this is just playing around here. Okay, drag the timeline indicator to the beginning, and let's see what this looks like. And so now this animates this way, okay? So this is how we can animate our text without using presets. Um, I'm click off of that for a moment so that we go back. This, by the way, is a, is a graph editor, and you can actually adjust for speed here, okay, which we'll get into in later tutorials. All right, so so actually, I want to. I'm going to take off the rotation, and I'm just all I'm going to do for this is and see now it's it's always at 180. We can go back to zero. Let's type that in for zero, and make sure, and then we'll watch it and see if it's doing correct. Okay, good. All right, um, I'm going to try just one other thing here. Let's take off the stopwatch. Come on. Like I said, I'm having just a little problem with my mouse here. Okay. I just wanted to see if everything is playing the way I wanted it to. Um, I'm going to drag the opacity up to 20. And now let's play it. And this is kind of what I had when I first opened up uh, or started this tutorial. Is This is what I had. Okay. So this is what we're going to be doing for this exercise. Now we're going to stop it here. And at about three seconds here, I'm going to go and I'm going to change something here. That is, I'm going to, we'll scrub up, we're going to move our timeline indicator up so we can see this. I'm going to close my properties here. That keeps popping up on me. Uh, but anyway, I want to shrink, you know, scale down the text and this black box together. And so, in order to do this, what we're going to use is we're going to use this parent pick whip, and we're going to click on it. And this is up in the first layer where it says a long time ago, and we're going to drag it down into our layer two here. Okay, and now whatever we do to this layer here, and I just accidentally clicked on that, and it kind of double clicked it, so it took us out of the composition and into that layer. Let's go back here. This is how you can go back and forth, by the way. Um, what we're going to do is, let's hit scale. Oh, I keep, it's my mouse. All right, so we're gonna hit the S key. Go ahead, click the stopwatch. And then we're gonna drag this in timeline indicator or move it all the way over to the end. And then let's scale this all the way down to zero. And so let's play this. And as you can see, the text is actually being scaled down at the same time that we are scaling down that box. Okay. And that is something that's so cool because you may need to take a couple of layers and apply one thing without having to to adjust that on every layer. Okay. This is how we would do it is to link it to a layer. All right, so one other thing we want to do with this, and that is let's go over here and we move our timeline indicator to where it's at 100% for scale. Let's hit Shift um, T, that will bring up opacity. We'll click the stopwatch and then we'll move the timeline indicator all the way to the end, like so. 
and then let's scale down the opacity all the way down to zero. And the problem is, the reason we're not seeing this, again, and I'm looking up there because I'm looking at both things at once. I'm looking down here at my opacity, is I accidentally hit this layer, double clicked it, and so it took us outside the composition. So let's click back on composition comp one. Now, let's watch this. And let me move our timeline indicator down a little bit so we can see the whole frame. And this is our little animation. Excellent. So that looks good. So this is what you want to do for our third and final animation for exercise two. Okay, so let's stop that. If we want to save it, we can save as. And I already have a folder set up for it. I call I called it Star Wars opening. And we'll call it a long time ago. We won't type the whole thing in. All right, and we'll hit save. Now let's go to composition and we're going to go to add to render queue, okay? And again, we don't need to do anything for best settings. Uh, this output module should just be set for H.264, which is an MP4. And then we're going to go to output to. Let's check that. We're going to output this to desktop, okay? And we'll call it, you know, I don't know. Animation three. Okay, so for our third and final animation for this project or exercise is hit save and hit render. And now I've completed that. And this is what you should do. So you can actually upload your MP4 to our D2L. Okay?